It's the biggest projects we've taken on. There's over 100,000 cubic yards of material being moved and sorted out here at two miles of river. Within the Columbia River Basin on the Grand Ronde River in northeastern Oregon, federal, tribal, and local partners are working to restore the ecosystem along a 1.9 mile stretch of the river to improve conditions for the Snake River Spring Chinook, Summer Stillhead, and Bull Trout. This system might look at first glance like it's not that big a deal, not, what's the problem here? But really there are very large problems here. It hasn't had a chance to reinvigorate itself because the impacts were so large. The Grand Ron was drastically simplified by human causes such as splash damming to transport timber, railroad and road construction, overhunting of beaver, placer mining, and more. When you simplify a river like that and put it from a multiple thread uh, channel into kind of a single thread, you take away a lot of that uh, dynamic ability of that river to create a lot of those, those micro habitats which are really important for pretty much all wildlife species. The perturbation of that doesn't allow the natural processes to reinvigorate itself. And so that's why we're coming in here with such a heavy hand, is because we feel like it needs to be kick-started. We're trying to make this river wiggle again, back and forth, up and down to create a re-meandering, multi-threaded channel network. Hydraulic engineers designed the new channel network after extensively surveying the existing system. We put different shapes of the channel, whether it's a pool or a riffle or a run, we have different shapes for, for those channel units and then we have to stitch it all together seamlessly. And so I, I spend a greater part of a year and a half at least working on that part of the project. There's nothing, two places on this project that match. Everything's different um, and everything's controlled by grade within a couple tents. It's all done with GPS. Basically, the operator sees what the plans look like inside, tells him to cut or a fill. It's crucial that they have experience because the channels are pretty uh, dynamic in what they're doing. There's a lot of uh, detail to the channels. This can't stop right here. This has to go all the way. Yeah, so that goes there. Roughly 10,000 feet of channels are being built to emulate the natural complexity of a robust river and healthy habitat. Diverse areas are being built like pools and side channels where juvenile fish can rest and eat. Large wood to initially stabilize riverbanks and provide cover for fish to hide from predators floodplain structures that mimic beaver activities to regulate flows and provide habitat, and riffles to oxygenate the river. It's more than a river project, it's an ecosystem project, it's a floodplain project. Designed, funded, and implemented by a team of federal, tribal, and local partners, the project is a testament to what can be achieved with collaboration. Even the local landowners of Jordan Creek Ranch agreed for the project to extend onto a half mile of their property. It, it takes a big team. There's been a lot of momentum and, and that success has is, is, uh, largely come from this collaboration between all the project partners. With three quarters of the project residing in the Wallawa Whitman National Forest, the Forest Service is planting native vegetation along the new banks and in the floodplain. And there's going to be somewhere in the order of 30,000 plants that are going to be planted on the project site. It's a mix of uh, species that are native to this area, so cottonwoods, willows, um, alders, dogwoods. The plants are kind of like the rebar of the earth. They help hold channels together. They're root networks, slow rates of erosion. By working to improve habitat on a more holistic level, the project contributes to the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation's broader river vision to protect, restore, and enhance the first foods, water, salmon, deer, cows, and huckleberry. A lot of these projects, you see a lot of short-term benefits, but I think the long-term 10-year plan is when you really start to see the natural conditions take over. It's really exciting to me. I can't wait to come out here in 20 years to see how that evolves. Mm -hmm.